Hi, I'm Amy, an editor with the Old Farmer's Almanac Garden Fresh Cookbook. Potatoes are definitely one of America's favorite vegetables. When looking in the farmer's market for potatoes, try to find the ones that have a firm body and that feel heavy for their size. They should be unwashed, but also free of dirt. You should try to avoid potatoes that have any sort of soft spots, green tinge, or sprouts. Potatoes are a versatile vegetable, but when making a specific recipe, not just any potato will do. The russets and the whites are great for baking. If you're making a chowder or a soup or plan on pan frying potatoes, the red potatoes are your best bet. And finally, the small fingerling potatoes are great if you're going to be steaming or roasting. And this type in particular, the gold, makes excellent potato pancakes. For this recipe, you'll need pork, applesauce, apple pie spice, which is a combination of cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and cloves, red skin potatoes, carrots, white pearl onions, and apples. Hi, I'm Sarah, an editor of the Old Farmer's Almanac Garden Fresh Cookbook. Today we're making apples and pork, which is a delicious stew recipe for using red potatoes. Cut the pork into large chunks. Put the pork, applesauce, and spice into a large pot. Cover and cook on medium heat for 10 minutes. One to one and a half hours before the cooking finishes, add the potatoes, carrots, and onions and stir. Season with salt and pepper. 15 minutes before the cooking finishes, add the apple slices and stir. To serve this dish, remove the pork, vegetables, and apples to a plate and spoon sauce over the top. Serve it with extra sauce on the side. To make this easy dish super simple, try making it in your slow cooker. For this recipe and more, go to almanac.com.